uh, Representative Anderson, let me um, let me start with you with our next question uh, with a viewer that ca calls in from uh, southern Minnesota. Uh, and this viewers, this is one of those sensitive issues that involves a uh, a balance between environmental and um, uh, economic interests. This viewer is concerned about southern Minnesota lakes that need to reduce phosphates and nitrogen. Um, largely coming from, perhaps not exclusively, but largely coming from runoff from agricultural sources. Uh, and uh, this viewer wants to know what, if anything, the legislature can do about this, um, either in the short or long run. Um, Representative Anderson, let's start with you. You've got a background in these areas. Well, I think one of the programs that Minnesota is doing a good job on, it's called a water quality certification program. And the goal is to get uh, up to a million acres enrolled in this program. My farm is enrolled in this program where you certify your practices, your fertilization rates, you use prescription application of fertilizer and such, uh, reduce tillage, things like that to reduce the runoff and keep the nutrients on the fields where they, where they belong. And, and now, especially with fertilizer prices uh, doubling and tripling in price from last year, we just can't afford to let those nutrients uh, wash on down the field and into the rivers. So uh, progress is being made. Some lakes have been taken off the impaired, uh, impaired list this past year. Some have been put back on again, but uh, I think we are making progress. And Minnesota uh, is really encouraging the use of this water quality certification program and getting more and more acres signed up uh, every week. Uh, Senator Bigham, your thoughts? Yeah, um, I, I think that's a fantastic program. And I, I really do feel like, you know, everybody deserves clean water, no matter what zip code. And um, we really do need to um, continue to work with our agriculture community and, and fine tuning best practices. And, and they are tremendous um, stewards of our land, uh, because their livelihood depends on on good quality land to, to grow their crops to provide food for us. So um, I, I think continuing to work with farmers on um, what we know best protects our waters, you know, water sources, but also um, is strong best practices for, for making sure that, um, you know, they, they have the flexibility to, to do what they need to do uh, to provide food for us. Uh, so, I, I mean, I, I look forward to continued discuss discussions on this and, um, you know, I, I haven't, I, I think cover crop uh, uh, policies is another area that we continue to, um, and buffer buffer legislation are other areas that we continue to fine tune and, and have discussions at up at the Capitol and also are important to keeping our water clean. Representative Feist. Thank you. Yeah, this is a hugely important issue in my district. Um, it was interesting when I first got elected, a lot of people emailed me about sustainable farming um, and soil health. And I know that although we don't have farming in, in my district, that there is a lot of concern about agricultural pollution. And it's interesting because we focus a lot on the fossil fuel industry and looking at ways that we can transition to renewable sources in that that sphere, but we should also be focusing on agricultural pollution because it is actually uh, a huge source of pollution and even greater source of pollution than fossil fuels in a lot of ways. Um, so I think that we need to take an approach where we are regulating, but also finding ways like um, like Representative Lippert's soil health bill, which, um, which would support farmers who want to um, use more sustainable agricultural methods um, and, and have some subsidy from the state to encourage that, that type of farming that will lead to less pollution in the long run. Senator uh, Rarick, your thoughts, uh, agricultural runoff and uh, uh, phosphate and so forth. Yeah, you know, this has gotten a lot of attention at the Capitol. Um, I think farmers, uh, one, they want to take care of their land. Uh, two, they, you know, they don't want to spend money on uh, fertilizer and watch it run off their land. They want to keep it there. I think they're, you know, and they're learning better practices all the time. But if we're going to have an honest discussion about this, we need to also talk about people who have built cabins and homes on the, all around our lakes uh, who over fertilize their lawns uh, and keep a manicured lawn right up to the lake. And we also need to talk about our cities 
um, and their stormwater runoff. Uh, you know, they have all kinds of paved surfaces and all that goes directly into our rivers. So um, we can't just blame farmers. It, that uh, They are doing a lot of work and it's time for everybody else to step up and do their part as well. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to point the finger at somebody else, but for everybody that's doing that, they better think about what they're doing as well and what they're run, where their runoff is going. 